we're back here at GoldenTV.net, bringing you the Star League Season 2. Uh, we've had some really uh, interesting games, actually, so far in this group, Group D. Indeed we have. Tasteless Symbol losing, and then a Shine getting taken out by Curious. Really cool build by Trap. That's like what he did in that game was like the definition of a metagame build. Yeah. That is a build that's going to be was. so hard to figure out what the hell's yeah. going on in time to stop it. Uh, now really good planning. Now we're going to the winner's match here. It's going to be between Trap and Curious. If there's somebody who can take Trap out, Curious is your guy. I agree with that. He's uh, Curious is a Zerg that he's like a pretty full Zerg, right? He can do anything. He can play the he long can run the full macro. Camera. He Absolutely. can do the cheese. He, he has everything at his disposal. Yeah. But this is a best of one, and Trap showed ridiculously good planning in his first game. So, I wonder what else he's got in store for us. You know, when you're in a group of four players and you're Protoss and they're all Zerg in this case, you get a lot of extra time to prepare because it's only one matchup. And there's three maps that you have to prepare too, so it's, yeah. not, it's not that much. Whereas if it's like best of three, there's so much more preparation they have to put in. Yeah, especially you can when they're get choosing more tailored maps and builds stuff. for it's... starting locations and stuff like that too. Mm. So. I don't know. I'm just excited to see uh, if he's going to be the one advancing or if Curious is going to pop right out of this group. I don't know. It could go either way. But uh, I would not mind to see a Protoss going up. We have none yet, and we have plenty of Zergs and Terrans already. Yeah. Protoss has been having a hard time, actually, Yeah. Uh, nowadays. You know, we They're just... Not... In, over in Korea, we haven't had many Protoss champions of anything. You know, MC a couple That's times. That's Seed once against MC in the finals. It's like, okay, we understand only MC can win. Yes, this is true. Um, but hopefully we'll see some more Protoss dominance uh, in the months to come. Well, hopefully you know, in this tournament as well. We've got a sick lineup of Protosses in this tournament, and what we've seen so far have been some very good Protosses, but not the very top. And yes, SOS has better results than Parting and Rain recently, but let's be real for a moment. <laughs> yeah, let's be real for a Parting moment. Parting and Rain are god-level Protosses. They that are, are so They're like complete good. Protosses. SOS yeah. is awesome. He's one of my favorites, but the best Protosses are yet I don't feel like SOS is quite on the same level, he's close. He's, no, I mean, he's, he's good. He's original and he's done very well, but. Look, Curious has that, that, that look of a killer, man. He always he does. He always... That's what he looks like at his birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining the cake in front of him right now, all the candles lit, every singing for him. All the guys from TGI Fridays <laughs> come out with their little drums and they're made a happy birthday song. And they're like, oh my god, this guy's gonna kill us. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so funny. All right, it looks like it's time. Let's get hype here in this match between these two, well, these two StarCraft II legends. In the bottom right, he's old school by now in StarCraft II standards. He is. Master, Startill Curious. And his opponent, the only Protoss in this group, will he be the first Protoss to advance? He is. New challenger, STXO Trap. We activated the trap card there. Whoa! Yeah. Well, I guess someone <laughs> had to say it. Someone had to say it. Thanks for jumping on that grenade, Tasteless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You're so funny today, Artosis. Thanks. All right. So, this map, it is a one on one map. Uh, drops can be very strong down here. Yeah. Certainly. Uh, don't forget that this map can be split in half very easily. Very, so sw Swarm Host play in the late game is very strong against and Protoss. And Curious is one of these guys that knows how to just make a lot of, of uh, creep. I mean, not creep, but uh, see, now I'm like creep colonies to, for spines and spores. No. Remember when we first started Spine casting StarCraft and spore too? Oh, yeah. When we first started casting, we kept calling the Stalkers Dragoons and the... Yeah. I remember people getting angry. It's, it's not a it's dragon. Not a goon, it's a stalker. Like, well, the only thing I've done for the past 11 years of my <laughs> life is play StarCraft 1 and talk about dragoons, so you must forgive me. <laughs> There's a unit that's almost the same exact thing that I'm casting right yes. now. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> there was something else we were doing with, with, with uh, Twilight Council. We kept referring to that as the Citadel. Yeah, I still do that. I had to actually like, remove the word Citadel from my brain because yeah. I was, it was so hard well, to like not call that. I'm like, whatever, it's, it's the same thing, thing man. It's exactly, yeah. yeah. But uh, now it's a, well, it makes sense it's Twilight Council because like the Protosses are 
together and stuff. Citadel of a Dune, it's like, no, that's that's very one-sided government. Now that you have the two factions <laughs> drawing, you can't do that. <laughs> that's a very good point. This, is a, this is a two-party system. They really thought this stuff out. the stuff out. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Twilight Council. Council. This is this is a group. You sure it's a two-party system? You sure there's not one political party that's like the third one that's like just nobody votes for him? Well, I, do. I still would call that a two-party system. <laughs> this is true as well, actually. Yeah. All right. Protoss is fast expanding. Um, this is the uh, probably a little bit tougher fast expand build to pull off. Yeah. Um, but it's very good if you know how to do it. And you know, I do it's have also to say, completely I, safe against um, anything. That if you're to be mm. six pulled, for instance, you just make the cannon in your main. Sure. Cancel yeah. the expand. So Absolutely. it's super safe for when, stuff like that too. When you're going for a uh, forge and main expand, what you're actually afraid of is like the the ten pulls, the twelve pulls. Because yeah. you can't get the wall and cannon up actually uh, just right against that, and then suddenly you're in a bad spot. But those builds are much less much common less than common. even like a six pool, generally speaking. But the metagame goes through shifts of that. Yeah. All right. right. As we can see, there's actually four, three workers. There's four probes on that guy. Yeah, okay. yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. I guess the other one was actually far away. Clicked on it to go back home and then got rerouted. Oh, okay. You're right. Because yeah. look at that. I'm like that. Definitely looks like there's only three I'm on like, there. Well, that's some efficient mining right there for four. Oh my god. <laughs> We're going to have to wait until that Cyberdex score is done to figure out what's going on. Uh, for Curious right now, he's playing very standard as far as Zerg early game. Is he going to hide a pylon? He definitely could. He's he trapped. He could. He's trapped, yeah. It's like what he does. Well, um, looks like Curious is just going to go for uh, the mid-game, late game. Notice how well timed out this entire build is here. If, if Curious can actually just live through everything... Uh, then he's he'll probably end up taking it, you know. I agree. If Zerg can live long enough on this map and split it in half, there's not a whole lot of options for Protoss. So that's probably what he's looking for. But the thing is, Trap is like a really sharp player, so could be hard to do so. All right, uh, Overlord's now just being positioned out. Um, now, if we go we go into Sky Toss style, he's gonna have to evacuate all those Overlords and send them back home. Mm -hmm. And he looks like he's at least opening Starport. We don't know if he's gonna play full on Sky Toss, but yeah. Uh, also note, a curious Overlord, nice scouting there, spots it, and he will get out in time. Yeah, the Sentry will push him back and damage him, but <coughs> have to wait for the Phoenix or Void Ray to come out and finish him off. Yeah. Now, will it be a Void Ray or a Phoenix? Because they're two different builds completely, and it's the Phoenix. So, all right, we'll see uh, what he wants to actually end up doing with this. Yeah. Uh, what what type of Phoenix player are we going to end up seeing? Well, uh, time will tell us. Looks like the drone's now being transferred here. Just a little bit of downtime here. Oh, is he going to get that? Does he Ooh, see it? Yeah, he, he sees, he it. sees okay. it. Okay. So, you know, that was a kind of cool hiding spot by Trap. Yeah, it it's was. A little bit more out in the open, but that's what you have to do it's nowadays. It's actually fine. <laughs> Taking into the robo now. We'll see how many Phoenixes he gets. We've seen some people get up to eight even. Yeah, you, Some there are builds five, that yeah. go as high as 10, but those are rare. Uh, so I'd be surprised if he gets more than five. That's that's pretty normal, but we've already seen seven, so could be that. But that's a pretty quick robo. So should be probably going into rather quick Colossus after this. Yeah. So uh, Phoenix is right now, as you can see, uh, Curious evacuated pretty much all the Overlords at... Um, off the map, There's just two more hidden around. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't go down that bottom route. That's a pretty common place to keep an Overlord. Well, we do have spores on the way to try to stave off any damage. And the Twilight Council government. I think I'd rather vote for the Blink Party. Well, that's <laughs> you know, if you want to be a brainwashed Blink user, man, don't get charged. <laughs> that's fine with me. <laughs> that's more charge for me and Tasteless. <laughs> that's right. I'll just get to go on TV faster. <laughs> Blink, why don't you just close your eyes permanently? Jesus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I got three more gates on the way over here. Mm -hmm. And this is... He's actually okay. cranking out Immortals here. Yeah, I no, thought he was going to go to straight up to a Colossi, but no, two Immortals are going to come out here. I we have no Observer, by the way, right? Am I missing something? Did he skip Observers? Uh, yeah, for now. Uh, what this build is, this is actually an older build that, like, maybe... Five weeks ago, this was unbelievably popular, uh, and it's it's a two immortal, two colossus push after a phoenix opening. Trap is really, really, really good at this build. Yeah, and it's this is basically a two base all in. 
Uh, but it's and you know it's what? so powerful. I, can't I even think that this is the right build for Trap to use against Curious. I really like this. And he's actually throwing down a Nexus. So there's a possibility he's changing this up a little bit. There is that possibility. But the right now the build is... Oh, yeah. it's Notice how he's hiding those two Immortals on the edge there. Yeah, that's super And he super throws smart. down the Nexus as everything walks in, so it looks normal. It looks like it's actually like Curious is going to try to apply some pressure here. Yeah, which is fine. Um... You know, 12 more drones on the way for Curious. Ooh. Curious I'm... might just get killed here. And he's getting Infestation Pit, which is absolutely not what you want against this. Yeah. Um, I'm really feeling this game for Trap Tasteless. This is a really good choice, this build. All right, the Phoenix is continuing to fly around here. And, um, again, a lot of this does come down to the fact that he hit, he hit those two Immortals so well. Yeah. If you see the two Immortals, you know what the build is. Yeah. And because then you're just like, oh. Again, this was super popular about four or five weeks ago. Yeah. In fact, I gained quite a few ladder points with this build. It's a good build. Quite a few. It's a very good build. So he's taking a fourth base. He's super droned in. He's teching. He doesn't have a lot of units. I think he's going to die to this tasteless. This is... Er. Yeah. There's only four sentries out, which gets me a little bit nervous for him. He has done the Nexus cancel, of course. Yeah. But uh, you really actually want like eight sentries with this, but he's focusing more on firepower. Yeah, I think he gas. wants more raw strength and, and not necessarily yeah. to win this so much through finesse. Not normally how I see it, but are you I get a warp prism off the back of this. Uh, yeah, you do. Okay. It, we should see a warp prism coming up. I was wondering because we don't see one. The yet, way he's so. doing it with the the pure strength on the seven gates, he has to use a lot more minerals on things like stalkers instead of. Uh, using That's the gas true. on sentry, so we might not see the warp prism. It's a possibility. All right, here we go. Guardian shield up. And it looks like he's going to go around here for a fight. Oh, no, he's going to go around trying to get that pylon. Yeah, and in fact, he might catch those six stalkers. But the army is coming back to try to save the pylon. Oh, it is man. important to keep a pylon alive here because... Yeah. Or you, know, you can't reinforce. Yeah, you, right. you skip the warp prism. He's actually going for this uh, hatch again, and it will go down. He's continuing to push forward now. Uh, actually winning two battles on two fronts right now. Yeah, he's chasing this army all over the place, backing up. He's actually going to try to trap him. Yeah, well, no trap. Pun, no pun intended here. Trap but. is the one trapping here, Tasteless. All right, wow. He won't be trapped. He is trapped. Now he's going to uh, look. He's, he's going to try to intercept this. Is he going to get this army? Well, oh, nice. you know what? Right now, Curious is being smart. He's buying time because he has vipers that are going to pop out. If he gets the vipers, get he can pick off Clawside, but. I don't think he's going to have enough army, really. This is this is a yeah. powerful set of units going up against him. Nice time warp there. Loses Continuing a Viper. to push in here. Uh, two more Vipers. Are they going to get shot down as well? Uh, looks like they do barely survive. Uh, uh, so far, Trap doing a really good job keeping his army together, fighting these small engagements here and there. The supply is going more and more towards Trap, which is exactly what you want with a build like this. But... He's down to three sentries, not any energy on that. He's lost one immortal. He does have three range Colossi. All right. You know, this... Is he going to... No, he's not going to get that. Nice, getting the infestation pit. Messing up the tech here for the Zerg. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, does he go into the uh, second base, or does he go up here to the third base? I think he has to go into the thing. He has to hit right. this army before he doesn't have enough. Oh! Nice, Yanks! And down go one Colossus. Will he get the second? Uh, the Colossus running away, and it does, does die. Go down. But has but he lost too much? Too much, yep. It looks like it could be. There's a, there's just so much firepower here. Turns out it was a really good idea. GG. GG indeed. Good we idea. We have our first person to move up out of Group D. Yeah. We do have a Protoss, Protoss going on. Still. Uh, good build order choices by him. A very hard one to scout there. That build looks pretty normal because he throws on that next stage he's going to cancel this but this is a build that if curious really went through traps games really went through his pvz's i've seen trap do this multiple times uh just like that so uh you know curious he over a bit he over a bit just didn't have the units he needed to stop it you know um i love that he hit, the, he hit those two immortals that was so good yeah he hit him just right, and the Phoenix has cleared out the Overlord, so it was really yeah. hard to actually get in there and scout those It's marks. really tough to prepare for that. Because when it's just Colossus, you're like, okay, I know what I'm playing against, he, and then Curious is in a great spot. He also managed to save that pylon. I mean, if he'd gotten that pylon that was proxied... That, that definitely helps a that, lot, man. That could have actually uh, meant that that attack would not have worked. He couldn't have gotten the reinforcements there. It was actually kind of a nail-biter there at the end. Yeah, there was, there he were did times. harpoon those two uh, Colossi, took them both out, but in the end, there were just too many stalkers. Yeah.
There's just too much. Well, it was know, just he, this big death ball. He chose to actually spend uh, in that way and focus more heavily using his gas and minerals together on the stalkers as opposed to getting those few extra sentries, sentries. and zealots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it he wanted to win to with really uh, he wanted to win with raw strength in this case, not necessarily. Like it actually worked out better that way. Force fields up here and there, you know. It did work out better that way. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to the interview now and see how Trap feels. Uh, Trap says uh, he's glad because it, it felt pretty easy for him today to get through his games. Looks pretty relaxed. My trap says uh, he did intentionally uh, prepare the timing build, um, and he was a little bit caught off guard because when he first scouted uh, with his Phoenix, uh, he thought like the game was over right there, but then he miscalculated the timing a little bit, and so he was confronted slightly earlier than expected, but then he uh, gathered all the rest of the information he felt necessary, and so he just played it out. I'm trapped feeling confident against both Terrence and Zerg. Doesn't feel that either race is necessarily easier. He's comfortable with both matchups. And uh, he said uh, he felt pretty comfortable with preparing for his matches today. Although normally, uh, just as an individual, he feels more at ease preparing for a best of three. But with the matchups he was presented with, he was actually comfortable with the best of ones today. <laughs> and yet, a, yet another player who feels that they have not shown the best performance in, uh, in Pro League and so they can't really blame the fans if the expectations aren't high. But, you know, he said it felt easy for him today. He got through. Things are looking pretty good. And yes, of course, uh, the first Protoss to be moving on and as SOS actually got knocked out today in the round of 32. And that, that could mean a lot for him, so... I mean, of course, they weren't the only, only two, but... They traps try to choose his words carefully. And he's like, yeah, I think if I just prepare, I can, I can match or best uh, the... Hi, <laughs> we're back. Uh, I don't you can match the Internet Explorer. <laughs> well, I would hope so. That is not... It was the Internet Explorer invasion right there. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Uh, um, okay, so I guess the, uh, I don't know if we're going to get back to the interview or not, um, but I'm guessing now. I'm guessing now. Um, but it looked but like the interview was wrapping up anyways, yeah. so whatever. Yeah. Um, so what we have, uh, what, Symbol and Shine in the game now. And um, pretty soon here we're going to get that game going. Yeah. Only ZVZs from here on out. That's right. Uh, Symbol versus Shine. Trap. Symbol has to be a bit nervous about it, I would say. Yeah. Uh, you know, Shine is a very Shine is opponent. just he's so hard to prepare against. Mm. It's like you know you know he's gonna do something really weird, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna be able to stop it. Yeah. You know? He's got a very acute way of playing the game. Yes, he certainly does. It is adorable, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I do it every time. I can't help it. I know. I cannot help it. Um you know, Symbol has a very obtuse way of playing the game. <laughs> he's he's very wide open to yeah. doing whatever it takes to win at the yeah. moment. So, um, once uh, they're ready over to OnGameNet, start the game. We'll get this going. Yeah. Hopefully uh, so. Here with uh, Symbol and Shine. Uh, I actually think Shine's going to win. That's actually my pick. You think he's going to take out Symbol? I have a feeling. Who wins? Uh, well, okay, let's say Shine wins that. Does he beat Curious? No. 
Okay. You think Kyrie's coming out? I think that's not a terrible uh You think Simple's going to win? I do. I have to because Simple has shown us amazing ZVZs. You know, he's he's gone so far on ZVZs in the past against some of the best Zergs in the world. Yeah. He's just I I just look at these two players. I'm like Symbol and Shine. I'm like, okay, Symbol is much better than you. You Symbol should win this, but it's best of one. Who knows? I would not want to be in a best of one against Shine, man. That's no, for probably sure. Probably not. Well, actually, you know, if I had to play a best of one for my life, I want to be against Shine because I'm like, well, you know, what? I'm going to defend. Oh, and I well, might that's actually, a good way to spit it, actually. Because you put me in best of one against Flash, I'm never going to win that. Never man. ever going to win. Doesn't that. matter what I yeah. do. <laughs> It doesn't even matter. You go two command centers first on Cannon Rush, I'd probably still lose. But, uh, you know, against Shine, maybe. Maybe, man. No, probably not still. But um, Do you think he's going to do one of these rushes again? Shine? Like, uh, yeah. I don't think he's going to do uh, the quick baneling, like 10-pull baneling again. No. No. No? Definitely not, I would say. I think he's he set the tone where Symbol has to go, like, pull first. So why not just open hatch first for Shine? If he wants to go all in, go all in off two hatches. That's That's... Oh, I feel like that's bad. maybe a better way to look at this. I just don't expect anything standard from Shine. No. I never do. I basically never see it. No. So, yeah. Um, it looks like we're going to have a little bit more downtime here, but pretty soon uh, we'll be getting into this game. Yeah. Talk to me, Artosis. Well, I mean, I think I've talked to you about ZVZ as you've much been, as I care to. You've been playing some old school games, right? Uh, yeah, I'm playing Ninja Gaiden right now. The uh, we talked about that the, a little bit before. Original, but original on NES? Ninja, yeah. That one's hard. It's hard. It's very that hard. one's. I should actually put that on tryhard as well. That show. That's. It's a hard one. It can it's, be frustrating, especially when you're trying to actually jump from cliff to cliff because the controls are so unresponsive. Sometimes you yeah. go down the, and you're like, "Oh crap! If I go down one more time, I die. <laughs> I have to get this going up." And it's like actually very. hard. I was playing a lot of Contra, man. That game is. That one's. That, oh, I had a lot of fun. It's so hard. It. Just type in the cheat codes. Oh no, it teaches. Why don't you just get different lives? I'm you like, know, you should play. It was. I, I enjoyed it. I had it for Nintendo Life Force. I've never even heard of that. Actually, is it really? Oh, it's good? just like it's just like Contra, but with like space jets that go through like a giant alien body. Oh, that's awesome! It's fun. It's yeah. fun. I liked it. I Are played you, it a ton. You of times. You were playing. But, um, you got the new. No, now why I can't think of the name. The new. Uh, the new Game Boy. Yeah, I have the 3DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, you got Ocarina of Time on that? Yeah. That Amazing. Awesome. Amazing. Amazing and game. You can download all the like old Nintendo games on See, it. See, that's so good. And you can download like. Although they like remake a bunch of like N sixty four games and stuff, it's yeah. They've, awesome they've, this is a new thing they've started doing is is just remaking these old school games. Well, they they're catching on from the movie industry that yes, I was exactly everything what I was about new to say. sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, well, you know, what was successful a while ago? All right, well, we'll just make that again. Yeah, make it again, make it better. It's like, what's your favorite video game? Oh, it's StarCraft two. Guess what? Two. Yeah. Starcraft 1, then we Starcraft, Starcraft, Starcraft 2. 2. Yeah. And it's not exactly remake, but you know, you get my point, yeah. right? This is a pretty long delay here. We're sorry, guys. Yeah. Hopefully we do get into this game pretty soon here. Yeah. Symbol and Shine, a ZVZ, oh, it is the best of one. Take another moment. So, um, you know, th if you lose this, this, that's it. Your story ends there. You're out. Yeah. So a lot of pressure uh, here. It is. And Symbol does, I mean, this guy, when doesn't he get at least I feel like, like he's seriously? A, I feel like Symbol is like the tragic hero of StarCraft 2. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, like, he so, gets, he's close. so good. He's always at the top of the tournament every time. Yeah. But here he might just fall down and the field is getting harder and harder. And he, the thing is yeah. he's made it through multiple of those fields extremely far. Yeah. Right? Like top four and top two. What? Like that's insanely good. But, but he's not SOS did that yet. too. Kind of. To a lesser extent. And he's out. So it could be. All right. Well, it's a one-on-one -on -one here. ZVZ, best of one. Anything can happen. But there's a lot on the line. One of these two pro gamers is about to be eliminated here in Group D in the round of 32. Looks like the countdown has started. Whatever the best ZVZ build they have is, we're going to see it right now as everything is on the line for their tournament life. The map will be Newkirk Precinct. And it looks like it's almost loaded up. I'm Tasteless. With me is Artosis. And this is Season 2 of the Star League.